was at and my people was at. So, first off, subscribe, hit that button, check your boy out, future videos, etc. Second off, let me get into this. What this video is, is about like my sneaker bucket list or whatever. As sneaker heads, we usually we try to keep up for most people. Most people try to keep up with stuff as it's coming out and stuff and what's the next release and this and that. And they'll have some things in the past be like, man, I wish I'd catch those or whatever. I Me, mean, I don't really, I don't really keep up with uh, too much of the upcoming stuff. Like me, y'all, I mostly kind of like put something in my head, what I want. And whenever I have the chance to get that, that's what I would like. So this is just like my sneaker bucket list for the moment. Like shoes that I would like to get. And I'm not saying my technique or something is more is better than anybody else because I, I like what I like. I don't try to get every new pair. Like shit, if I had it, I would get every new pair. Not everyone, but the ones I like. So uh, after this video, in the comment section, y'all hit me up and let me know what your sneaker bucket list would be. What, what shoes right now do you want either upcoming release or something old that you wasn't able to cop? So let me start off. I was about to forget these. I don't even have these written down. Jordan 13 Olives. I really would, would like those. I like that uh, suede on there. I, I know a lot of people say it's ashy and this and that, but I've seen it in the mall and I pass my finger on it and just pause. Is that pause worthy? But just pass my finger on it and just touch it and caressed it. And <laughs> yeah. But I just like the quality of that shoe. I like the material. I like the feel of it. And then the way that I dress, the certain colors, I, I like dark colors and stuff. I think I have a lot of clothes that I can really bring bring that out in and really kind of swag them out. So, start first with the Jordan 13 Olives. And let me get to, to my list. LeBron 15s. I still haven't got a pair of LeBron 15s. I, 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 I ain't gonna spoil it. I, I kind of got something coming, but and, and, uh, anyways, I would like the LeBron 15s. Colorway, not necessarily any particular one. I like those white and black ones. I like the uh the ashes colorway. The kith ones, the kith ones is dope as hell, but I can't afford no kith. <laughs> uh moving on. Jordan 32, the highs. It's, it's not like necessary because I got some 32s, so I kind of got that off my list. But I got the 32 lows. I got the Gatorades. I kind of would like a high pair. Preferably the bread. I had a few chances to get them. But I'm like. I didn't want to jump on it per se. Because. Because there were other things I wanted at the time. And it was like. Get the other thing that I wanted. Or get the 32 breads. The thing about it is. I got the 31 breads. In this exact same colorway and stuff so whatever I wear with with whatever one is to be the exact same thing because I really don't hoop in like my newer shoes because I don't really have gym access so it would kind of be getting them just for the sake of collecting but I still would like those Nike Air Max Vapor Max I would love a pair of Vapor Maxes the original ones with the laces and stuff I don't like the non lace ones or the ones with the straps and all that, just the regular ones, they dope to me. I, and I really want to check the comfort out on them. I really want to see what the, the big deal is. Like, whenever Boots was popping, I wanted to see what Boots felt like and stuff. It, it is nice or whatever. But I really want to feel that Vapor Max. And just as far as like a casual shoe and, and joggers and whatever, maybe some some kind of shorts. But I, don't, I, I got the more long jaw shorts. I'm like, a, I'm, I'm an old nigga, I'm in my 30s. So I still got the long jaw shorts. I ain't got like the, the coochie cutter, new age shorts that people wear with stuff like that. So I don't I don't know. But uh maybe with some joggers or something, I think they'll they'll be real clean to like walk in the mall with or just go somewhere or whatever. The Air Max 270s. I I've never been a big Air Max person, but I like what they're doing now. In the 270s, I seen the pictures of those, the initial ones, and look at them a hey, them things, uh, them things dope, man. And I would like the, the Desert Cactus ones. 
that's the ones I really have an eye on that I really would like. And I don't think they too too much. So it's it's potential, potential pickup, but I really like the Air Max 27. Jordan 6 alternates. I don't know why I kind of want the alternates. I was, I think it was like Mardi Gras, maybe like two years ago when I was out there. And I seen somebody with them on, like it, they were fresh out. And I, I kind of had my eye on those ever since. And I got the uh, the Gatorade 6s. So that was my first pair of 6s. And I, I actually kind of like those. And I always wanted the car mines. I was in the mall like maybe a day after the car mines. And all they had was size 8. I couldn't fit that. So ever, I didn't get them. But I always wanted the car mines. But ever since I got the Gatorade. So it's like very similar. So I don't really want the car mines anymore. But I would like the alternates. I don't know why I, I, I would like the alternates. I don't know. I, well, I, I told you. Because I seen them at that time. And they just stuck in my mind since then. And I, I had a few times to get them. Because they be cheap online. You can catch them. But there was always something else at the time. So uh, some, some big dogs in the sneaker collection. I would like the win like 82s or the win like 96s. Preferably the win like 82s. I like that. I'm not really a big on blue. But I really like those. I love red, but I don't really. I would like the gym reds, but I'd rather the win like 82s. But I've, I've had a few chances to maybe get. I, they have a chance I could get them now. But I. It'll, it'll be a UA pair. I don't want a UA pair. I want a retail pair. <laughs> so. So, uh. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm try to catch those at some point. I, like usually I wait on a deal or something like I, I'm not expecting a deal on those like I'm gonna try and get those for retail like maybe 200 or something like I ain't got that right now like I'm not trying to spend no 200 on those shoes and stuff like, I got other things to do and you know I'm always trying to get shoes but I'm gonna try and get something cheaper before I would get those unless like some things happen because I hustle and I, hey, whenever I get a certain amount, like I get me some shoes, and so it's hard for me to save because I'm always getting some. The LeBron ones, the first ones, first ones that they came out with, hey, I want, I want those. They look like they're heavy. They probably uncomfortable. I want those. The new release of them, uh, the white and red ones, the white and black ones, the all black ones, the Vachetta ones, or whatever, the All Star, whichever ones. I would preferably like maybe the white and black ones. I would like the white and black ones. But uh the black ones would be cool. The white and red was a dope, but it's like it's such a such a colorway in my collection that I have so much of. Like it was not necessary. Jordan 18s. I'm trying to picture them in my head. Yeah, the Jordan 18s. That's the ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh the, the I think the red ones are dropping. Those would be dope. I still would like the, the white and blue ones, but it's not nothing less nothing necessary in the collection because I have a, a couple white pair, white and blue, in that exact same colorway, the 15s and the 16s, so they the exact same colorway, so, and I don't hardly wear those too much. So me wanting those in the exact same colorway is they gonna see. <laughs> the, the red suede ones, like I like red, but it's like I've had so much red in my lifetime that that kind of pushes me away from some all red because I have a lot of red. Jordan 15s, as I just mentioned, I got some Jordan 15s, but the Jordan 15 trophy rooms, that's something I always like. I always like the Jordan 15 trophy rooms. And speaking of trophy rooms, the Jordan, Jordan 17, I'm pretty sure that, that it's what it is in my mind. The Jordan 17 trophy rooms, they dope. Uh, and the Jordan 17, the I want to say the say the name was the lightning those yellow joints hey they're super dope i know i'm not getting those <laughs> i know i'm not getting those i'm not finding no deal on those i'm not dropping no 500 on them or whatever but the joy 17 lightnings i'm guessing that's the cup that's the name of them but i don't really remember but those jordan one fly nits every time i tell somebody this you sure you want to fly? Jordan one flying this? They flimsy. They not that good or something. I'm not a big Jordan one person. I've had a few pair of Jordan ones. I've wound up selling all of them on eBay or putting them in trades or something. I don't know if I traded some, but I got rid of every Jordan one I've had. It's it is it's a dope shoe and it's is 
something necessary in the collection, but it's they so flat. They so flat, man. I, I have such an arc in, in my foot. I, I, it, it hurts my back and stuff to wear some flat shoes. So the jaw one's just a flat shoe. Like I, I would, I would think the fly miss what might be more comfortable. And I like the way they look on foot. So that's why I would like those. The other ones, like in the Chicago's and everything, they have some dope ones. The shadow back boards and everything, they have some dope ones. But I just know I'm, I'm not crazy about the ones, the way they fit on my foot. I would, I would like to check out the, the fly mitts and peep those out on foot. Jaw for the, uh, the cement fours. I've, I've never liked fours too much, but I, I've always liked it. Well, I'm not always, but I, I like the, the cement four. But that's just a classic shoe. That's some sneakerhead need to have in the collection or whatever. I don't have those yet, but uh, one day, one day, might bite down and, and pull the trigger on them or whatever. But it's not some super necessary, but something I would want eventually. Some, some I kind of like, and I, I've had a chance to get these for cheap also and passed up on. They was on Nike for maybe seventy at one point. The Jordan Seventeen, Seventeen, not the Jordan. Uh oh, Hyper Dunk. 2017 fly knits. I like those shoes, man. But I, I, I've, I hate to buy a shoe for hooping because when when they come in, they nice and stuff. And I know when I bring them to the court down here, they get so messed up. And I don't like to mess my shoes up. So really, I balling old messed up shoes. I try to not bring no heat to the court. So I would hate to buy a brand new pair of shoes and go mess them up. So that's why I kind of dread getting those. I wish I had a gym. I probably would have got those already if I knew I had a gym that I was going to be wearing them in. But just to buy them and mess them up, I don't really want to do that. Jaw 12, the flu games. I got a couple pair of Jaw 12s. I ran through some, some 12s. Uh, it's not something necessary because I already have a few pair of 12s. But the flu games is just something that I always wanted when I was younger and stuff. And when they came out, and I remember at, at the time I was kind of like ordering shoes and like kind of selling them. I was bigger in the game at the point. So I had them in my hand a few times with, uh, from other people ordering them and me shipping them out. And man, that's an excellent shoe. But we like that eventually. Jaw 13s, either the bread colorway or the Royal, the ones that just dropped not too long ago. Uh, the breads, that's just, just a classic. That's, that's a classic, man. Or the, what, what would you call them? Bread or the playoffs or whatever? I don't know. But classic shoe. And the Royals, they did drop not too long ago. And really, I wasn't crazy about them. I wasn't, wasn't like, eh. It wasn't that super special about them. But now I'm starting to see them, like, at uh, certain people who have me out in videos and stuff. And shit, the outlet is like three hours away from it. But one day, maybe I'll go to the outlet or something and see them for, for cheap or whatever. Shit, I, I might, I might recap those. I might recap those, man. I, I, I kind of, kind of like them. I kind of like them, but... As I said, white and blue, they can usually sit in my collection. I usually don't wear them too much. And the last thing, last thing, let me end the video off. The Westbrook Zero point, point fives. Uh, I, I like those, man. Like, I, I, I wanted those before I even had a pair of 32s, but I always wanted the 32s. So I got the 32s first. That's something I would like to knock off my list. I want the all white ones. And I want to catch those for a deal. And I see them. Russell Westbrook, he had certain ones, why not, for the All-Star game. He had a picture when he was holding them in there, why not, written on them, like in like some graffiti type letters. And I want to do a custom like that on them. I don't know why I spilled it, because if I do get them, I'm going to do a video on it. But that's why I would like those, and they just seem like they would be a comfortable shoe. And you don't have to bother with the laces and all that, so I would like that about the shoe. But, uh... That's my sneaker bucket list for the moment. I know I'm probably missing some shoes that I probably thought of or whatever. But what's your bucket list shoes that you want in your collection and stuff? Man, how let your boy like, comment, subscribe. Gonna be the greatest of the most hated. Peace out. Wakanda forever.